Hello and welcome to Teen Mom Trash Talk, episode 46. I am your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo, and this is my podcast all by myself. I want to do the opening next week. Okay, you want to try it again? Go ahead. You do it, Gabrielle. Go. Hello, this is Gabrielle Fergala, and I am bringing to you Teen Mom Trash Talk with my peasants, Tracy Carnazzo and Noelle Winters. Hi, guys. Here we are. Hi. hi. I'm the peasant, Noelle Winters. That was good. I like that, Gabrielle. Thanks. Enjoyed it. We're here to discuss Teen Mom 2, Season 8, Episode 23, and Young and Pregnant, Season 1, Episode 13. We're going to start with Teen Mom 2, Season 8, Episode 23. It is called Bitter Baby Mama. Kaylin and Javi throw separate birthday parties for Lincoln. Chelsea heads to court with her ex. Leah takes Gracie to therapy. And Nathan's text to Janelle angers David. We're going to start off with Janelle. Okay. Okay. So Janelle's starting a makeup company. Did you see the woman she's starting it with? Hold on a second. Her name is Megan. Did you notice that she's doing like an eyebrow line? Yes, she is. fucking ironic. She's an eyebrow uh, connoisseur. Connoisseur. She is an eyebrow model now. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, how did you feel, Gabrielle, about Megan's makeup? I <laughs> felt as though Megan should be selling things on a street corner and not making cosmetic okay. lines with Janelle. I personally, um, about 10 or 11 years ago, maybe 12 years ago, I went for a f- good friend of mine, Lauren Mills, mm-hmm. right? I went for her bachelorette party. We went to Lucky Chang's uh-huh. in uh, downtown. Uh, it was on East 1st and 1st Street. I remember. Um, First Avenue and East First Street, and it was uh, a drag queen Chinese food place. Mm-hmm. So much fun. Uh, the drag queens <laughs> were like done up like crazy. I went there years ago. Oh my yeah. God. And the best part about this was that at the end of the night, there was a cake and it was shaped like a penis, but there was no fondant. Uh-huh. It was literally just made of whipped cream and it was a sponge cake. Mm. And it, that was it. That was the whole that cake. Delicious. The whipped cream was fresh whipped cream and it was like five miles high. And it, made, and it made the entire penis, right? Oh. So that was the best part. Um, now, what does this have to do with anything? <laughs> Megan, when I saw her face the first time, I was mm-hmm. like, what is this reminding me of? And it was reminding me directly of one of the drag queens that was at uh, uh-huh. Lucky Chang's. That's fucking hilarious. That's funny. Because that's what Megan looked like. I've and never- I'm not talking about an overdone makeup. Like sometimes when you go to Mac, like their yeah. makeup is overdone. Agreed. Not talking about that. I'm talking about it actual literal like characteristic yes i mean like character but not in a good way but not no 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 no. like 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 it looks like a like an like an anime character's makeup yes uh so she's she has a brow line and uh meanwhile the three of us have honestly the best brows ever we really i can't wait to get microbladed this is a room of women with good brows yeah i know i can't wait uh oh i can't wait so the the uh, makeup woman, Megan, said to the photographer, we're trying to capture uh, Janelle's eyes. Uh-huh. We're trying to capture her eyebrows. Mm-hmm. And then they're doing the photo shoot and she goes, wow, Janelle tw- 2.0, very angelic. Angelic. Mm-hmm. Wow. That was a great line. Very satanic, wow. I mean. She's eyebrow fucking, components, oh they God. use. They use the word eyebrow components. Her eyebrows are squares. Her eyebrows are fucking disgusting. They're, 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 yeah, they're stupid. boxy. They're stupid. Um, so now she sits down, uh, with the woman and they talk about the packaging, uh, and the eyebrow components, Mm -hmm. right? Now she decided that she's going to go on Facebook and she's going to change her bio because her bio just (laughs) had like, now this is not a true story, by the way. This is a, this is a story that David made Janelle tell. Um, so Janelle had changed her profile picture of just her when it was her and David. Mm -hmm. And then she changed her bio, uh, and took David out of the bio. Right. And did not say that she was married or anything like that. So Nathan sends her a text. Mm-hmm. Uh, did anybody read the text? I did read the text. It was I a little bit it. weird. I didn't I thought it was I thought it was nice though. I didn't think yeah, there was anything no, I didn't mean think he, about it. It was no. nice, but it was also like why communicate that much with Janelle? Because he's trying he's because trying really he ha- hard because nobody will communicate with him. The only right. he has he has to communicate with he David. He has to communicate with David. Now, see, exactly. I think that the reason why Nathan had sent the text message was because he was he was trying to fish for information to see if they had broken up because that would be a good thing. For him. For him, yeah. for Janelle. Uh-huh. For Do you know how frustrating that must be for, for Kaiser? Like, for Nathan? Mm-hmm. Like to have to communicate, to be told, like you have to communicate about your son. But can't he say something David? to a judge about That's this? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like he has to because, I mean, it's. It's not. It it's shouldn't obscene. be allowed. He shouldn't Ridiculous. have to. It's not like him and David have such a good relationship that right. it's, like it's just easier. No, Nuh-uh. it's not. He's it's not mean. like it's Javi and Joe. You right. know, it's very. Um, <coughs> it's sick. Yeah, it's sick. So 
uh, Janelle's sitting on the stoop talking about this with her friends. Her mm-hmm. hired friend. And her hired friend says, I don't think that David's jealous, though. Right. I don't think he even cares. And she goes, no, he doesn't care. He just gets crazy fucking crazy angry about angry. it. angry. Yeah. Oh, okay. So he doesn't but care. But I have he to d- tell him because he's my husband. You have to tell him because he makes you. You because he will be you're trapped because on the land the with him. Because you're trapped in the <laughs> right. middle of the land with him. Ugh. Right. It's a very scary situation. Um. So now there is uh, a pickup situation with Kaiser. So Nathan is dropping Kaiser off. Uh, Nathan. No, and Nathan's his- picking up Kaiser. Oh, right. Yeah. He's picking up yeah. Kaiser. David's mom. Um, so Nathan's there. Mm-hmm. Nathan's girlfriend's there. It was a very confusing situation. There was, yes. But it was also Nana was there. So right. Nathan's mom was Nathan's also mom <laughs> was there in one car. Right. Then in another car, it was Nathan and his uh, girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Then in another car, it was David's mom. Right. And she was dropping Kaiser off to Nathan. But that shouldn't be allowed. <laughs> no, it shouldn't be allowed, should but be it allowed. is. And... Uh, Nathan said something. Nathan said something to mom like, "Hey, can I talk to you?" Right. And he was like, "Can I read you the text?" And she's like, "No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know." And he's like, "Right. Can I read you the text?" Right. And he read it to her, and, and then she, she was laughed. like, "You're mean." Wah! I'm First so scared. First, she laughs, and then she starts crying. Right. He's so mean. And like, Nathan oh says something very, very powerful. They should stop doing drugs. They need to they, get off the yeah. drugs. Mm-hmm. And he's absolutely right. And this is what everyone's missing out of Janelle's story. Just right. because we don't tell it doesn't mean it's not happening. Right. Uh, so Nathan says, <laughs> which is really f- the funniest conversation that Nathan has. He's talking about the word faggot. Mm-hmm. So David has called him <laughs> a faggot. Mm-hmm. And Nathan's like, you know, it's not really right that he calls me a faggot because there are actual gay people out there. Uh-huh. <laughs> And it's that like, was the okay. So that part of the conversation, I was like, "Hmm, I don't know if now like, you're pushing if like it. gay people are insulted by what you just said, or right. if they're like, oh, thank you, Nathan.' Like right. it was kind of like a okay. double. And then he said something uh-huh. else that was so amazing. He goes, "Using the word faggot is like using the N word around black people. Right. Around black people. Around black people. Okay, so you could use the N word, Nathan, not around not black around people. only around exactly. like, not around right. the whites. When yeah. you're with the whites, it's let the N word fly. End it up." Yeah, but it was, it was dark. I don't think he meant it. I don't think he meant it like that either. But he needs to he needs to watch out his word salad too, though. <laughs> we like, have well, to. Um, why am I guy? Why, why am, am I, I a guy? guy? <laughs> why am I a guy? <laughs> Perfect example. I love it. Perfect example. Oh my god! If you guys don't know what we're talking about, uh, Noel just talked about this on our other podcast, BS Not Team Mom Related. You can get that podcast on our Patreon, Patreon, p a t r e o n dot com forward slash Teen Mom Trash Talk. And if you are a two dollar or up pledge you can listen to that and that's a weekly podcast that we do uh we answer fan questions we talk about our lives and it's really funny uh so you could definitely do that and then you would understand more uh noel was saying that her favorite moment with nathan yes. is when he said why am i a guy yes uh so now we go back to janelle and david's house mm-hmm. marissa's there and uh-huh. and salad is there there's all these children with all different parents there all the children all different parents yeah. david's mom's there david's mom is talking to david and janelle about what happened with nathan david is telling in front of marissa that he, mm-hmm. oh my god i hate it and in that. front of ensalada that she, he is going to punch nathan in the face uh-huh. that he's gonna fight nathan and if nathan says any words those words he's are gonna break words. his jaw but he's, he's gonna, gonna fight him over nothing no but he needs to know and marissa is sitting there mm-hmm. like a scared child she looks mm-hmm. like she I, I wanted to like take her terrible they talk in front of the how kids. does david's mom not david's mom produce some people i Nathan, think everyone is afraid david's of david. mom i was gonna say david's mom's probably afraid of david uh the yeah. way that she was explaining what happened though was so not the way it's not, not the way it happened, happened. right she made so it seem scary. like he attacked her yeah meanwhile he was meanwhile, just, he's just like can i just can i just talk to and you he even said time? he's like i know you're a sweetheart he's like i just want to yeah, tell you he was oh, nathan he was nice. is n- nowhere near what he used to be i'm not scared of nathan at all no, no. and i love nathan's mom mm. nathan's yeah mom's she's cool. cool all right let's talk about leah first of all Corey and ally make slime uh-huh i want slime i want slime oh you never made slime so let me tell you my mother works in a school as mm-hmm. well as gabrielle mm-hmm. and in my mother's school i don't know if i ever told you this uh there was a uh, an underground ring of <laughs> these two girls that did something very Tracy like. What'd they do? They started an underground slime sale. Mm-hmm. Of course they did. And they were selling, making slime in the bathroom, in the girls' bathroom, and selling it to the kids in school. And they both got in very big trouble. Really? That is yeah. amazing. And my mother's telling me the story, and I'm like, what was in the slime? Right. What color was the slime? I want to know about it. Can I make the slime? Can I sell it to the kids? Did in they school? use shaving cream? 
I don't know, but uh, how'd they make it in the bathroom in school? Where did they get she, the time to little do this? Meth lab Not in only the did they have someone making the slime, they had someone as a lookout. I love it. And then they had probably someone to sell it. Yeah, they had a salesperson. A good, they must have made it during lunch or something. Yeah, they they really had a good thing going, and that was like in the seventh grade. I don't know if you know this about me either. Uh, I used to uh, pierce people's ears in the locker room. Yes, of gym. I had a, a piercing gun, and I would Stop. pierce your ears in the locker room. You just mm-hmm. brought me the earrings. Mm-hmm. And then I pierced your ears. In You're an awful person. Or a businesswoman. Why I pierced <laughs> Fairy's nose very recently with uh, a piercing gun that I found that was my grandma's <laughs> in my house. And all I had all I had was pearls. And I pierced his nose with And what pearl. happened? Did he keep it in? I have a video of it. Did he keep it in? Um, no, he didn't keep the nose ring. But then I re-pierced uh, his, his other ear. Mm-hmm. And, and I have videos of that. And he kept with that. The same, with the same pearl oh, wow. earring? Fairy no, is no different pearls. Neighbors They're, I have BFF. sterilized. They were like in cartridges and sterilized. Yeah. It's very this fun. Is amazing. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so Corey and Allie make slime. So basically what they're trying to show you in that is that Allie is at Corey's house. They're separating the twins quite a lot. Well, I noticed. Um, well, because Gracie's evil. So Gracie, uh, she has been very aggressive towards Allie. And Leah even says, you know, it's a little bit of frustration. It's a little bit of just who she is. Right. That was amazing. Yeah. When she mm-hmm. said that, it was so fucking true. So Gracie goes to therapy. And it does I nothing. dare my child to act like that in a car with so me. So she's in the car. She's rude. She is kicking the seat for no reason. That, okay. The fact that I would rip that phone out okay. of her hand. Why well, did they that, take her phone yeah, away from that's her? The, yeah, that's the thing. <clears throat> Why didn't the they phone take the away, phone away? I would like smash it because I'm crazy though. I'm a crazy person, but that would infuriate yeah. me. The way she was kicking like that, like She's I wouldn't touch her. I would take that phone with away her, from with her with her thousand dollar right. phone in her hand. Right. And Leah's so nice. Leah She's is so nice. And Leah, trying. you could tell how frustrated she was. Oh my though. god! I Somebody said that it looked like she was still on drugs in the car. Um, I, think, I think, so. think she's exhausted. I think yeah, she's I think, so too. Yeah. I think she doesn't know what to do, so she yeah. like nods out a little bit yeah i would too uh so she goes to therapy basically nothing happens right. blah 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 okay great kale Ooh. so she's kind of denying her relationship with daddy dom right now yeah and meanwhile daddy dom's like on twitter like um, i, ha- I, I was got, gonna say i have some good gossip yeah, well, daddy i got dom. tested for STDs. every std yeah. possible did she come up with anything no, no. oh well, that's not well, I just I don't understand the denying. Um, I remember she denied Chris Lopez too, but she but said like, that she wasn't denying it like, like to be mean. <laughs> she was denying it just because she didn't want to go right into another relationship and make it official. But she did. She, but did, she did. Though. But she did. Speaking of uh, other relationships, mm-hmm. Gabrielle, you have a top knot right now, mm-hmm. and it's very reminiscent of one of Kale's girls. Becky, you look oh. like Becky. You look like Becky right now. You have on a button down shirt. You have shirt. a button down shirt on and a top knot. And a top knot. You are Becky. I don't mean it as in you are literally Becky. I'm just saying you're like looking You just look like exactly her. like her. I thought I looked adorable today. I think you, you do. Look I think adorable. Becky's adorable. I love it, Becky. So Becky. <laughs> She's straightening her shirt out. You straighten your shirt out. <laughs> um, honey. Can I ask you guys if your favorite scene today? Yes. Was my favorite scene. Okay. Ask. VV running to Lincoln. Loved it. Oh my God. That was the best thing I've ever seen. Loved that was, it. That made my heart like burst into my That was my, my favorite thing ever. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. I loved it. I love the relationship they ha- like all of them have. Like Joe. Me too. I love that Dom and Kale and Joe and V could like sit in the living but room. That's and, why like, I wish that Kale was with Dom still. Yes. And mm-hmm. I like that um, Joe comes to Lincoln's birthday party. Right? That's so cute. Okay. That's their, that's her family. I understand kale not going to the birthday party okay that i get so now don't understand the not filming of it okay i'll tell you this it so was being spiteful so yeah. brianna uh is going to be coming to uh you know uh lincoln's birthday party right so initially it was javi and and uh kale throwing him a, a birthday party and kale paid for it right right so now he's like well brianna's coming with her whole family i would be so pissed okay Javi is forcing Brianna down their throat. Did you just see what happened? Brianna has been so disrespectful. Bri- this is not Javi's like selfish. Javi, this is, is like this has nothing to corny. do with um, 
Kale being jealous of Brianna. Not but even Javi wants to think it is. But Javi wants to force a fight. So what he's going to do is now he's going to take over the birthday party right. and be like, this is the Javi show and I'm the star. Right. This is about me. I am bringing my girlfriend. Yep. I'm bringing all her kids and I don't give a shit how much she disrespects mm-hmm. you. She could spit in your face, Kale. This is my kid too. Ha I, ha ha. Right. ha, ha. I, I do not blame Kale at all for separating those parties. No, but Absolutely why not. couldn't it be filmed? Okay. You know what? Maybe she didn't want to give Brianna any more airtime. I mm-hmm. guess. But you know what? You know what really and, annoyed but me? Brianna saying like, we'll have fun either way with or without the okay, cameras. So she said that to say it. She so didn't mean yeah, that. there's no. a group chat, right? So now Brianna goes, I'm going to ask Kale if she wants to go to dinner. Right. So there's a group chat with Javi, Kale, and Brianna. Mm-hmm. And she says, I want to, you know, I'll be in, in Delaware if you want to meet up. Mm-hmm. And Kale's like, no, thank you. And she goes, well, fuck you then. Suck my fucking dick. Suck my dick, you bitch. I'm going to fight you. And Kale's like, well, that escalated quickly. Right. And Kale's like, I'm not going to fight you. Right. So uh, (laughs) she goes, Brianna wants to fight and she is literal trash. Yeah. And she's right. She's absolutely right. Um, I'm going to skip over to Brianna now. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, So her and Javi are boyfriend and girlfriend. Mm Mm-hmm. So corny, the matching shirts. The matching like. shirts were so stressed. Now, let me tell you something. They were together for like three months. She talks huh. about... They weren't even together for three they, months. Their whole relationship lasted three months. That's my point. Because like, remember, on. they only... This is the first time they're even saying that they're boyfriend and girlfriend. So you have to get matching shirts? But even Brittany thought it was too much. Not only that, um, I think they were, they were sent to her. Mm-hmm. I don't even think she bought them. I think they were sponsored. Or because she said, I don't know when they well, asked she, her about well, the characters on the shirt. Right. And she posted like on Instagram. Yes, and while she posted it, like, when it was real life. Right. And she posted it like, thank you so much for sending. So now he picks him up from the airport. They're staying with his family. Okay. First of all, I didn't know that he lived with all of those people. He lives with, well, I knew he lived with his sister. He lives with yeah. His sister I didn't know mom. he lived with his parents. Yeah, his parents. He lives in like his house, I guess. Um, so it's just really weird. Uh, I've noticed that Nova's a lot less shy. Yes. So mm-hmm. that's good because yes. she's around children now, just yep. not just in the playroom with everyone yelling at her. And um, Kale said that she doesn't want the party filmed, which, again, I get it. I get it. She didn't want to see. I think you she's know, a little petty. No. But no, I don't know. think it's petty. Brianna would have went, went to that party, played mom. Yeah. Like, Kale wasn't, like, right. pushing Kale out of the fucking picture. And... Why should Kale have to like watch that? Right. So why does right. so it's the Brianna and the Javi show? Right. No. No. no this is Lincoln's mm-hmm. birthday party. Exactly. Valid. Kale didn't want it to be about the situation. Right. So now, right. And okay. Javi okay. wanted the cameras there to make it the yes. Javi show. But then, don't you think if Kalen wanted to deviate parties, she should have had like a little more of a party? No, because it was last minute. Oh, was it that Super last, last minute? minute? Yeah. Okay. Um, Alejandra's there. That's uh, Javi's good friend. Yes. Very strong jaw on that woman. A very strong very jaw. She wants to sleep with Javi. I think she might want to sleep with Rihanna. <laughs> uh, you're right. We need to. We need Joanna, a resident lesbian, Way to in come on this out. Joanna. 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 I actually saw Joanna. She came out to my hashtag comedy oh show. I love her. Uh, she's a scientist. She, she is. is. A, she's literally a scientist. Which she is moved the coolest to. She thing moved ever. to Astoria, Queens, right by my show, uh, which is monthly. It's uh-huh. every fourth Saturday of the month. It's at QED in Astoria, Queens, New York. Mm-hmm. And it's at 9 o'clock. And the next one coming up is June 23rd, 9 o'clock. Mm-hmm. QED, Astoria, Queens. And I have a great lineup. And uh, we have different characters from Teen Mom Trash Talk <laughs> uh, just, like, floating around. Anthony Domenico did my show last month. Yes, he I did. Know. I heard he was he amazing. Heard he, oh, my God. He killed, he killed so hard. Right. He has this joke about ham. Mm-hmm. Dead. I'm dead. I still can't even I think about him. it. I love him. Uh <laughs> So now uh, Bree's acting like a little angel, right? Of course she is. And she now this is Bree's version of the story. You ready? Mm-hmm. I asked her if she wanted to go to dinner, and she said no. Nah, and I said okay. Uh huh. All right. Really? Okay. Yeah. I'm pretty I sure you told her to suck your imaginary dick, and that mm-hmm. you're gonna fight her and kill her whole family right. and light the world on fire. Right. That's what really happened. And you're right, Noel, about Hobby's eyes. They don't blink. They don't blink. They don't he blink. Doesn't blink. It freaks me out. Do you think he kind of looks a little mousy? No, you know, I thought maybe he's on. He's definitely not on drugs. He's not that no, guy. No, he's in the service, yeah. But, like, I'm watching him, and he just doesn't blink. And I'm like, but why? Yeah. But How why do you, do you get blink? that much sleep every night that you're just not tired? And maybe you don't have to maybe it's the military training. That's I swear it is. Javi's eyes are so open. But now let me ask you again. So is his mouth. Why are we so obsessed with the shirts? How many times are we going to mention the shirts? I know. It was pushed. It's pushed. It it's was pushed. Their whole relationship, their relationship with the children and everything is just pushed. Okay, so someone had mentioned in the group a little while ago that maybe the 
the relationship was made for MTV to have a storyline. And I got to tell you, I don't think it was. I think no. Javi pushed this. Yeah, he said Javi can't be alone. It was beyond that, though. And you know what? Mm-hmm. Brianna's like, I don't want this relationship between me and you messing up your co-parenting. And it's like, no. You, you know do. who's messing up the co-parenting? You. No, Javi. Well, Bri- you cannot even blame right, Brianna though. for any of this. You know what? Javi should... Javi's not handling any of this. Javi the right is way. like, no. you disrespect her as much as you mm-hmm. want because she cheated on me. So I'm going to get her back by dating a fucking monster. Yeah. Brianna actually said, there was an article I read, and Brianna actually said that Javi, all he wanted when they were together was to get married and have a kid. Yeah. And uh, I just want to put a little disclaimer here Go. that we're allowed to have opinions. Okay. So, Noel, you had a situation today in the group. Talk a little to me. bit. Um, someone. So we're talking about Tracy's Teen Mom Trash Talk podcast discussion on Facebook, uh, which you could join and you could chat mm-hmm. with us. Right. Uh, so we're in there and go ahead. No, There's sorry. many discussions that go on, yeah. you know, and which is totally cool. I want everyone to feel free to express their opinions. Sure. But we were talking about um, last week on our mm-hmm. podcast, um, which is called Teen Mom Trash Talk. Right. <laughs> 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 You're such on a bitch. the podcast last week, we were talking about Chelsea and her choice um, to tell Aubrey that Adam is in jail. Well, if Adam goes to jail. If Adam goes to jail. Right. And we were just stating our opinion on what we felt about it. Right. And um, somebody basically said mm. that we can't have an opinion because we're not moms. Right. Bullshit. And I feel like, but isn't that what we're basing this entire That's what we do. podcast it on? It is our opinions. Right. It's our opinions. And guess what the group is? Our opinions. We our can opinion. write whatever we want. Right. But the thing is, they don't have to agree. I don't care. I don't mind going back and forth. Look at how we go back and forth about vaccines in the group. You Absolutely. Know? But I don't this care. is what you do, right? Mm-hmm. So you could say, hey, Noelle, I totally understand where you're coming from. Right. As a mother with a child that's father is incarcerated, right. this is how I feel. Right. You might think about it a little bit differently if you were in my position. And I probably would if, yeah. if something came at me like that. But the fact that I just saw the way it was written, it was like, oh, I love the girls, but they're mo- not moms. They can't judge on this. And it's like, Meh. I don't really think that that's how it works. No. Because no. like, not. just because you're a t- not Italian doesn't mean that you can't like Italian food. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you, you really were waiting to use that. You were waiting. <laughs> you can't to really. I wasn't trying. I wasn't waiting to use that. No, I get it, though. Do you think I was driving here thinking about that? I was driving here, like, thinking about where I'm going to find her. I was th- driving here Bitch thinking fight. about where I was going to find Hershey Kisses. I mean, let's I be know. honest. <laughs> let's get real. <laughs> All right, let's talk about Chelsea real quick. Um, so Chelsea has court for the visitation of Adam and the name change. And Chelsea says something that's very interesting. She what? says something like, I don't know if Aubrey forgot that she really wanted to change her name. Right. Uh, but we're doing it today. Yeah, Aubrey doesn't care. Wait, 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 come on. Time out. I don't know if Aubrey forgot that uh-huh. she really wants to change her name. Mm-hmm. She doesn't care. Or she doesn't want to change it. Or it wasn't or her she she doesn't Or care. maybe it wasn't her idea. Of course it wasn't her idea. It's, it means so much to Chelsea. I'm not really sure why. Whatever. I don't care. Like, I'm so over right. it. But the point is, like, Chel- um, Cole is a great stepfather. Sure. There's no discounting yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. But... Also, Aubrey, her dad is named Adam, mm-hmm. Adam Lind. Yeah. And that's Aubrey's last name. And you chose to write that on the birth certificate. But that's the thing. You chose to write that when you were still trying to bang him. Right. And now that you're not trying to bang him anymore, exactly. now all of a sudden it's not his dad. That's that's what bothers me. I love that she calls Aubrey, you know, our child, her and Cole's child. Right. And it's well, like, I mean, listen, that's fine. But you have to acknowledge that Adam's her dad, too. Yeah, that's what I mean. She, she just completely pushes Adam out. And I know he's a piece of shit. I'm not saying he's yeah. not. Like, people think, like, I'm defending him. I'm not. He's a terrible person. I know, but I really wish that we knew more about the exact uh, situation between uh, Aubrey and Adam and, like, how she really does feel sure, about him. Sure, of course. We don't really get much from her. No, you don't. Um, so she said that so she goes to the court. Right. And she's done in one hour. She has three different cases. I love her turtleneck. Oh, me too. She oh, looks I, so comfy, cozy. Yeah, I love that turn. She's always she dresses really cute. She, though. Does. she does. Um, but she's does, she goes. Oh my god, this is gonna be the longest day in court. We have one three hour cases. One hour later. Uh-huh. That's that's what happens. That's why people live in South Dakota. Yeah, that's why I would live there. That's less than one <laughs> one movie. hour. Mm-hmm. It's true. Mm-hmm. You one wait. You wait in a courtroom for your case to be called in New York for three hours forever for, for one half case. a day. She did three mm-hmm. cases in one hour. She banged it out. 
That's why I don't want to live in New York anymore. Why? Not so that, that I have when, to go to court. So that when your baby daddy goes to jail, you can get uh, visitation at the visitation center. I'll tell you one thing. Court? When my baby daddy goes to jail, well, no, not when he goes to jail, <laughs> but when my baby daddy is with someone else, he is not going to treat me the way that Javi treats Kale. I will tell you that. I don't think a lot of guys treat no, anyone no. like Javi treats Kale. That is really disrespectful, right? So then she flips out and then she's a monster. Of course, but that's, that is typical man, though. That's a typical yeah. man. Men pu- push women, push women, push women. Women react yeah, and women are crazy. D- listen, I know that you guys are like big ho- team Javi. I, I'm not. I wouldn't say I'm big team Javi. Uh, Javi, I just kill bothers the shit i get I it but in this, like situ- kale more yeah, in this situation i think he's dead wrong i am a hundred percent on kale's side w- with this situation yeah a hundred percent so javi is now aware of our podcast no way uh yeah so uh christy a fan of ours mm-hmm. that i've met a few times she went to a party i saw uh this weekend oh when she was telling him about our podcast, and she told him about our podcast i had messaged javi and uh told him to get me his because he says like for business contacts email me uh-huh but then doesn't put his email right so i messaged him for his email i told him that you did know, you just put like javi mariquin at gmail.com <laughs> <laughs> i probably just should have so i asked him for his gmail and javi's real name isn't javi it's what is Jose. it? Jose. Well, that's I it. remember at their wedding. Okay, so Spanish people do this, and this is not a racist Italian thing. people do it Italian too. Italian people do it too. That's mm-hmm. right, because my friend Joey's name is Michael. Okay, my <laughs> my <laughs> grandmother, Jenny, her name is Francesca. Right. It's true. It's true. It's very, very strange. Yeah, my grandfather, Eddie, his name is Alfred. That's just it's just Italian people yeah. and Spanish people. They, it's just that Spanish that's not a racist thing. It's just you have many names. Yeah, you yeah. Just, you're it's called whatever. You're named whatever, then you're called whatever. Yeah, my uh-huh. grandpa's name was Geralimo, and they called him Jimmy and James. Well, that's like a no. That's a translation. Yeah, basically. is it though? Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. never mind. <sighs> Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Please stop contributing to this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um. So. Chelsea went to court. She got everything that she wanted, which I think was fine. Here's the thing. She was crying to Randy. Totally understand because she was happy. She wasn't crying because Adam's mother was mean to oh her. Oh, my God. That's Adam's how they mom made told it me, seem. Adam's mom told me, grow up. Yeah, grow up, Chelsea. Okay. She was probably like, grow up. You can't not let us see her. Right. They're so, nice to her because I don't think she even has a problem with Adam's They're parents. super nice to her, but like she is, she is trying to pretend that none of that ever happened. Right. None but of it that did. Existed. But it did. And right. I think they're very nice to Aubrey, too. Agreed. I got to tell you. That's the, uh, that's the mm-hmm. impression that I get. Okay. Um, so Chelsea says something to Aubrey. Mm-hmm. She goes, well, she I think she said in the car, she said, for the first time, we have the same last name. Mm-hmm. And guess what? What? You don't. You don't have the same last name. No. Because your last name is not Linda Bauer. No. Uh, and I think that you should stop being a hoe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> If you don't want, if you, if that's so important that you and your kids have all the same last name, then get married before you get pregnant right. and then have all your kids with the same guy. Mm-hmm. I mean, listen, I'm not shaming anyone for doing whatever. I don't give a shit. You can have a baby. But with also, why is it such a big deal? But if I that's a big deal it. to you, that's right. what I'm saying. If yeah. that's a big deal to you, right. then right. do that. Or she right. should have just not had his name on the birth certificate. Th- right. See, that's what I would have done. If I would have gotten knocked up by somebody like Adam, the kid would have had my name from the beginning. Right. Okay. Right. So now here's a solution to this problem. Are you right. ready? Don't fuck junkies. Mm, okay, well that already has Use a happened. Condom. That, mm, that I'm talking about a solution okay, to this what? problem that's already happened. We can't go back in time. Okay, Gabrielle, let's get real. This is no time machine. I think that Cole, uh-huh. Chelsea, and Watson should change their name to Linda Bauer. <laughs> and then everyone has. Why the doesn't same everybody name? just have Huska? Really? I know. That would have been right? funny. Cole should have yeah. taken Chelsea's ta- name. Cole yeah. should have taken it. It would just solve everything. It really would. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have so much fun stuff going on in the podcast. Uh, mm-hmm. So we got stickers, and right now they're only going to $5 Patreon. They already went out today. They went out today. I'm um, so excited. But if you have joined uh, the Patreon at the $5 level and have not sent me your address and I haven't sent you back a Purple Heart, it means I have not gotten your address yet. Right. So please send me your address on Facebook, on Patreon, on Instagram, wherever you want to send it to me, uh, and I will send it out. And that's for $5 Patreons only, and that's Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com forward slash teen mom trash talk if you want to join there um also you could follow us on instagram mm-hmm. at teen mom trash talk you could follow us on twitter at teen mom podcast you could follow us on snapchat at tm trash talk and you can like us on facebook at teen mom trash talk <laughs> and then you could join our group so our group is super cool we just talked about it a little bit we have the most like fun group. We really ever. do. We, yeah, we do. We honestly do. Yeah. Uh, it's called Tracy's Teen Mom Trash Talk Podcast Discussion. And then if you want, you can take it a step 
further. You could join the Patreon at the five dollar level. You get the sticker, and what else do you get? You get super secret. You get to super be part duper duper secret. Yeah, of the super secret group where we really we have beyond fun we talk a little bit off topic uh, and i think we've all kind of really become friends yeah, yeah no, I, for sure like i feel like there are things posted in there that i would never post in a public group no. and i like that it's like a safe place yeah it's a safe place yep. so it's about 60 something of us right yeah. now so it's really small get in on the ground floor mm-hmm. and join us over there so i just wanted to say that also make sure that you are subscribing to us on itunes or whatever platform you listen to us on Right. Just subscribe because I try to post and let everyone know that the episode is up. But really, the easiest way to do that is to subscribe. And if you are an iTunes user, if you have an iPhone, if you use iTunes on your computer, please give us a five star rating, please. an amazing review. Please, because we we're gonna have you. we're gonna have some giveaways soon mm-hmm. uh, for our favorite review on itunes and guys my wedding's coming up so noelle's wedding's coming up we're having a contest Mm -hmm. noelle's getting married in dry ridge kentucky if you live near there if you want to come to the wedding please email us Mm -hmm. with your name with your address with all of your social media tell us why you want to come to the wedding at teen mom trash talk podcast at is it team no it's i think it's just teen mom trash talk trash talk at at gmail.com amazing um i think it's time now to talk about young and pregnant season one episode 13 the one before the finale oh my god i can't believe it's happening already. i know it's sad uh so it's called moving too fast which we just talked about uh-huh. it's literally moving too fast uh-huh. mm-hmm. uh so brianna defends her new boyfriend to her sister bar makes peace with ashley's family kayla and stefan come together for isaiah's medical treatment and sean bails on jade they are so dramatic with these fucking descriptions and they are i love it i know isaiah's medical treatment I know. But you know what? We have the best descriptions in the world. Yeah, we, we do. do. We do. Team Mom we Trash Talk Podcast mm-hmm. has by far, mm-hmm. we, we, uh, we like to exaggerate things. We're silly with them. And we get a lot of comments about our yes, descriptions. Yeah, agreed. So check us out. Who are we starting with? We're starting with Jade. Okay. Sean's a junkie. Okay. I've always said it. thousand percent. Sean is an addict. It's mm-hmm. been alluded to in this episode. Mm-hmm. A lot. A lot. And I would just like to say that I have called that out. Yep. Um, for a while and it scares me because um he's young yeah he's you know young. he's young and it's like what are you doing and it's not even the way he looks just the way he's acting no That's he's why he, you he has junky behavior mm-hmm. he does and i feel bad for her i think that she really feels so alone i think she really yeah. does yes. and i think that she's scared because she went through it like she said with her parents yes. yeah and she doesn't want to have to go through it again and have chloe go through it too yeah but i also she think has she's no really one independent no she definitely yeah. is but i think she's had to be but i think she was also kind of like almost not looking forward to having like somebody like to stick around around mm-hmm. but she definitely was very she wanted disappointed. A family. she's very disappointed in sean and i his totally behavior. understand i have to tell you if i turn around and matt was like a drug addict tomorrow i would feel the same way jade does. yeah of course i, I feel it. awful for her yeah uh so jade and sean had gone to therapy and they right. talked a little bit about their problems and they talked a little bit about their communication mm-hmm. issues and how uh jade's very good at arguing sean's not good at your arguing so he just yells to get his point across because he has no comeback right basically. so now jade uh expressed this to her mom which And her mom, in turn, said something very funny. She said, you know, sometimes Sean gets really angry because he doesn't know how to express himself. And she goes, I would get a second opinion on that. (laughs) I loved that. I would get a second opinion. That was funny. And now, while that was an amazing quote, it is very hard to take someone seriously that doesn't have eyebrows. Right. None. None. No, she doesn't have eyebrows. But you know what? She Gabrielle, you're squinting your eyes trying no, to I'm picture trying this. No, I'm trying to picture I'm, her. Just trust me. She does not have an eyebrow she on her face. She does not have an That's eyebrow. so scary. And I always and she's look at her. She's not even a terrible looking woman. She's not, but no. I always look at her and go, what's wrong? She just looks like, ugh. And you know what? You know what's wrong? No she eyebrows. She has no eyebrows. Yeah. Listen, maybe she, Janelle could send her like a free uh, <laughs> care package. How do we hook this up? Janelle, if you're listening... Cindy Janelle's, li- Janelle's not allowed Janelle's to listen. Janelle's listening. Janelle's not oh, allowed no, to Janelle, listen. Well, David's probably listening. Janelle is like in a in a, uh, a Hasidic Jewish cult uh-huh. where she's not yeah. allowed to have outside influence at all. She's, she's not, not allowed to uh, to watch TV. She's not allowed to read books. She's she in the middle of the woods. She yep. can't touch she's <laughs> Amish. She's in the middle of the woods and that's it. She's drinking ice She's churning cheeks. butter and that's it. <laughs> that's all. She's on the land. She's making a meth lab, I think. Uh-huh. I heard they were building one. Uh, You heard that here first. (laughs) So now Jade is meeting with her cousin. Who I think is actually like pretty stable. She's pretty cool. Agreed. And they were talking about how Sean lies about everything. 
He just lies about things that that's like a junkie. And you know thing, what's though. crazy is though he never he didn't come off like that in the beginning. No, nope. but but it's it's also uh, how they made him uh-huh. appear yeah. and the things that they showed. And she said he lies about like weird things that like yes, it isn't which I we I, I mean I junkie think, behavior. Yeah, um, mm-hmm. it's just weird when people lie about things they don't have to lie about. Junkie behavior. Yeah. Um, she said that a lot of his friends are addicts. Mm-hmm. A lot of his friends are using drugs. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Sean's an addict. That's what she I'm didn't t- say that. Ever since she's that episode where he didn't go to the family's yes, party, yes, because he was too tired at, where in the middle of the night. You saw it right away. That rage in him. Yep, it comes from drugs. Absolutely, and uh, I'll say it once. I've said it a million times about a lot of these girls. Yeah. Uh, Jade's cousin's nails were terrifying. <sighs> I am very scared of very. I don't like nails. Jade's roots. I can't. I don't understand her hair. Because, like, I have roots right now, but it's not that type of roots. No, she's she got a weird root. She has orange roots, but, like, platinum blue blonde hair. Okay, so I'll tell you this. On 90 Day Fiance, I'm, uh-huh. I'm up to season 12. Two, no, no, I'm uh-huh. se- up to season 2 on uh, on 90 Day Fiance after the after? 90 Days or whatever. Or Where Are They Now? Or whatever the fuck the show is. And there's a woman there, and she's from Colombia. Her name is Paola. Uh-huh. And they call her Pow. Okay. And she's <sighs> married to, like, some guy in, like, Oklahoma. He's, like, a regular... They, they're, like, very regular people. Right. She's, like, you know, uh, a sexy Colombian lady. And she moves down to Miami, uh-huh. and she's going to become a, a model. Right? Okay. So she goes to this modeling agency, and they're, like, all right. She has, you know, dark hair, uh-huh. dark features, and they're, like, you have to dye your hair blonde. So she goes and she gets her hair done... She spends four hundred dollars to get it dyed blonde, and it looks really good. And then after that, I guess the touch-ups weren't great, and she has the most orange roots I've ever seen. Well, in my that's life. because she's putting really? box dye on her, or she's just roots. going to a shittier. Or there's just because all that is is your hair is not lightened enough. Yeah, that's it's all it horrible. Is. So she has these orange roots. Next time I watch it, I'm going to take a picture and push, it. post it in the group. Um, so now here's another thing that I need to tell all of these girls. What? There is no such thing mm-hmm. as a six month birthday. There is no such thing. They love a good a, six month birthday. A birthday, huh? a birthday in definition, uh-huh. is the anniversary of your birth. Mm-hmm. An anniversary in definition is a year. Right. Anniversary. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anna means year. Right. Um, anniversary. Year versary. Yeah. Um, it is the six month an it's the six month uh period after they were born, but it is not a birthday, it is not an anniversary. No. So I just want to let you know, six months is not a birthday. It's not a real thing. Her photo shoot was so freaking cute. Photo shoot was super cute. Yeah, it was super cute. So Jade had invited Sean to the photo shoot. Which I think is good. I think it's like nice that she's yeah, like, I want why her do you to have photos with our family. And the problem with Sean and Jade's relationship is that I think that she somewhere, even though she knows the truth, has hope. Yeah. And she wants it for her daughter. Mm-hmm. I don't even think that she's obsessed with him. I don't even think that she cares to be with him at all. Right. I think that she cares to have him there for her daughter. And Sean did not show up. Right. He's mean to her when he talks to her. Right. She calls him a few times. He's mean. And you know what Sean does? Sean takes her happiness away. Mm -hmm. Sean has taken the happiness out of every situation that she's had away from her. When she wanted to have dinner with her family. Don't look at me like that. Uh, when she wanted to have her baby's photo <laughs> shoot. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did my did my baby daddy not show up to my photo shoot? No, I'm just my eyebrows are just up a little bit. And she you know? kicked him out. <laughs> she kicked him out, mm-hmm. and he's gone. Mm-hmm. And I hope that he is gone. Good job, Jade. Mm-hmm. Good, Good job, job, Jade. Jade. Jade's, Jade's a lot of a people can learn from your situation. Jade. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, <laughs> let's talk about Lexi. She okay. has she's bullied Kyler into being her boyfriend uh-huh. now. Uh huh. Uh huh. He's like, okay, fine. Uh huh. So now he needs to go away to school. But I love that he's like, I want to go away to school. But it, it didn't involve her. And she's like, well, we can't afford that. But it never involved Okay, you. but that's... So here's the thing. Right. We I think that Kyler school. was like, all right. So I'll just that's tell her. I get out of yes, this. I'm going to tell her that I'm her boyfriend because she's not going to mm-hmm. stop annoying me. I have to see her because this is my son's mm-hmm. mom. So what I'm going to do is be like, yes, I'm your boyfriend. And then I'm going to move away. Right. Far. Right. Far. Right. Very far. He um, didn't wear a hat. He didn't wear a hat. It he looked, looked very weird. Horrible. Er, horrible er, mm-hmm. sorry. So he needs to go to mechanic school now. Mm-hmm. And you know what? If I had to pick something that I thought Kyler could do, uh huh, I would say be a mechanic. Mm-hmm. Sure. I like mean, I guess his spa not- attendant isn't working out for him. Well, he was trying to keep all the kids from drowning, but he's not a lifeguard. <laughs> so that understand. was basically what was happening. I don't understand. Um, so her cousin Courtney comes in. And I don't know what happened with that. That was kind of like a... Nothing. It was like, hey, can I be on the show? Yeah, right. It was very odd. Right. And she was like, yeah, 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 you can be on the show. We'll sure. just we'll make a sign. We'll get pick up the airport. Right. And then you hold the baby. Right. Cool. The end. The end. 
Uh, also, nothing happened in this episode with them. Kyler wants to go to Arizona because he wants to move there because he's from there. So he's like, do you want to come to Arizona with me? And she's like, I have to ask my mom. And he's like, you're 18. And she's like, okay, I'll go. Yep, yes, whatever yep, you want. You have it. family vacation. I'll go. Mm-hmm. We'll go. We'll all go. I'm there. She's brainwashed. No, then, she's not brainwashed. She's obsessed. No, but she's, she's obsessed. obsessed. I'm sorry. She's yeah. not brainwashed. He's, he, he's done word. nothing to brainwash no, her. No, he it's doesn't obsessed. want her brainwashed. And then you turn to her, and she has taken the biggest French fry mm-hmm. in the whole world. Mm-hmm. It was the it was the and she has fr- dunked it so How deep, deep into ketchup. So though. deep into the ketchup. That was the Mary Poppins bag of ketchup. Oh my gosh, <laughs> she was. She dunked it so deep. She had a pool of ketchup uh-huh. somewhere. Ugh. She dumped it so deep, and then she she deep throated the ketchup slowly into <laughs> her mouth. <laughs> and I was like, "Yes, Lexi. You know what? She's gonna do porn." Yeah. If anyone was gonna do porn, it's gonna be Lexi. Listen, if that was ranch, I'd be with it. <laughs> it's not. That was I. I, I was because you know what I thought when I saw that I was like. <laughs> How, where would where did she get the ketchup right. to dip it that much? Where, right, like how deep she of a roll the apparatus? Right, <laughs> did she roll it around? Because usually ketchup's in a very shallow uh-huh. compartment. Dish. Yeah, right. no, a no, I think she must have like put on a plate and like rolled it around right. like a paintbrush. Yeah, <laughs> interesting. Lexi, if you're listening, tell us about your ketchup, Lexi. <laughs> tell us about your dipping skills. Oh my god, that was so vulgar. Uh, and that's all that happened with them. Brianna, our our favorite Brianna, the two and Brianna. You know what? Noel, you roll your eyes, but who do you like better? You like this Brianna or you like the other no, Brianna? No, I'm rolling my eyes because I'm thinking about what a cunt Brianna was this episode. She was really bad. Yeah. <laughs> so now she has been dating uh, Robert for... Two weeks. Two weeks. Those, well, that's, those the baby, weeks. that's her baby daddy. Now he is the baby's dad mm-hmm. because that's what happens. So I heard, I don't want to start a rumor, mm-hmm. but I heard that they are going to change Brayson's names to Robiana. <laughs> I was waiting for something so serious. Just I know. I I'm like, oh my like god, what you gotta say? They are changing Brayson's name to Robiana. Uh, they were saying, "I love you." Okay, so she was like, "I know, you know, it, you know one week to I, I love, love you. you." I'm like, I. It takes me longer to love a show right. than one week. She doesn't one week even love, love her you. stuff, Llama. Yet I don't even love him. Mm. I almost love Leo? him, but love but him. like, it's gonna take me longer than a week to really love him, right? But you know what the great part about this episode was? Brianna had her hair soaking wet, which means she took a shower. She did. Thank God. But How long did it take your boyfriend to say I love you to you? Okay, so me and my boyfriend were friends for a long time before okay. that. And we were like kind of uh, veering towards a relationship. Uh-huh. Uh, we started hanging out without like even kissing or anything for a few months. And uh-huh. then uh, the first time like we hooked up was in August. And then it was around Thanksgiving. That he told me he loved me. Okay. And I think that's like. I feel like that's kind of uh, normal. I think like six months is I usually. Yeah, well, well, see now, remember. Brianna acted like her sister waited six years to tell her boyfriend. She was like, you, well, you, Matt waited, you waited Matt so waited so four long. years. Okay, but see, the only thing that I will tell you is that we were f- very close friends right. first. So I think that. So it, it was lo- It was like. It, it, it wasn't as there weird. Was a back no, I totally it wasn't get like it. I met him and then the next day we started dating and then no, it was like a stranger. No, but I can't tell you how many people I see doing that. Clearly, Brianna can't be alone. No. Um, she is not going to move, obviously. Okay, her sister said this. Mm-hmm. He, two weeks, he said, I love you. And she goes, yeah, so what? It took you, how, whatever, how long she was saying. And then right. her Six sister months. said, some people just say it when they really mean it. Right. Ooh, her sister has so burn. many burns. Yeah, she had a lot but of burns. She knew, and it, here's what made me the angriest about this episode. Tell me. She threw her child. She with the bottle in his mouth. Oh my god, that and he started crying. made me angry. I, angry isn't the word. Like somebody should take her child away from her. You don't do that because you're angry that your sister was talking about your boyfriend of two weeks. But, he, but she wasn't you saying know anything about him. She wasn't. She was just pointing something out to Brianna. You throw your child. Like literally, I, I was him. so upset. Yeah. Now every Brianna I've learned has a playroom. Every Brianna has a playroom. <laughs> every Brianna has yep. sisters and a playroom. Uh-huh. Uh huh. But she was being such a Bitch. She was being such a such bitch. a bitch. I didn't know that her sister was older. For some reason, I thought her sister was. Younger. I thought her sister was younger. Yeah, Me too. I did too. But her sister's older. So now uh, they all go out for Brayson's not six month uh-huh. birthday, right? Mm-hmm. And her mother. They really went out so her mom could like tell them. Okay, you're right. out. Does anyone else think that this situation was fucked up? Her mom was like, "Hey, I'm moving to Oregon, to Portland, right? To Portland was it? Oregon or just Oregon? Oregon. Oregon. Okay, I'm moving to Oregon." If you want to come, let uh-huh. me know. Instead of saying we're moving. Right. When the lease is up. When the lease is up, I'm moving. Mm-hmm. And if you don't want to come, figure shit and out. And I'm moving far. I'm not moving like to Chicago. <laughs> right. Which is like. Right. From Oregon. Okay. 
let's see. They're it's in very far. Wisconsin. They're in Milwaukee. Right. So if we were going to go Milwaukee to, let's just say Portland for the um, Milwaukee. Like I it's mean, not it's close. Very, I mean, it's very far. Maybe 20 hours. It's probably like from here to Kentucky at least. I would say more. Yeah, it's uh, like not here, close. Let's see. It's freezing in here, by the way. I Is it? A, I'm just yeah. letting everyone know I, I had to get up. Okay, so no big deal. It's 31 hours to drive. Right. I Holy told you, it's fuck. like 20. Yeah, it's yeah, it's, it's, no, it's, it's across the world. So uh, Milwaukee is actually not as far from us in New York than right. you think it is because it's two hours from Chicago. And right. I've driven to Chicago. See, but you would, you, but you know Brianna's not going to go. She met, and she goes, it's not just me to think about anymore. She sounded ridiculous. Did you see her sister's face? Yeah. Her sister so badly wanted to be seen. After it's such two weeks. Oh my I God. would curse her out so bad, though. So Brianna says something that is so telling. She says, well, it's not up to just me anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's up to your boyfriend of two weeks. Well, he's the father. Well, but he's I the child. father of the child now. Right. So I feel like her mother doesn't guide her very properly. And I know that her mom thinks she does. Uh -huh. But she just doesn't. Her mom she isn't be honest alone. enough with her. No, her mom isn't. Her she, mother her, isn't honest no, with her. No, it's, it's very strange. And she allows her daughter. You know what? Her daughter's 17 years old. She uh -huh. can still be controlled by her, her mother. Her daughter... Is like becomes obsessed with people. Yeah, and she, you very date obsessed. someone for a week, you're sleeping with them every single night. You guys can't be apart. Right, but why is it allowed? It, it would never be allowed mm -hmm. in my house. No. Um. So now we'll talk about Kayla. <sighs> so Isaiah, uh, Isaiah, uh -huh. Isaiah needs a helmet. He's so cute. I love, Super a, cute. I love a baby in a helmet. Uh, yeah, a little baby helmet so cute okay it was cute so he needs a helmet and kayla is now i don't know if the insurance is going to cover it and now stefan might need to contribute to this right but what i say is don't worry just use your mom's credit card okay but that's what <laughs> i was thinking because it like who but who is going to pay for it kayla doesn't work obviously her mother's gonna kayla pay doesn't for work it. and do you know stefan doesn't work yeah yeah he doesn't do anything what, what the fuck? Right. So, so now pay for it but he yet he's mad at her mother right so now the she doesn't wouldn't have diapers without the mother oh my god so they go out. Are they eating fondue tacos? I don't okay. know. I was very I don't confused. know. It looks like some kind of quesadilla. Yeah. It looks like a quesadilla. It I did. love the quesadilla. It looks Me too. So, I know how to say uh, quesadilla, guys, I'm by the way. I'm hungry now. Um, it looks so good. It looks so good. I was I'm very so hungry. hungry. I'm so um, hungry. So she was dipping it in some kind of like there was a cheesy dip. base sauce. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. It looked very good. Um, so Stefan told her that Luke is a downgrade. What right. else is he going to say? Right. I mean, what is he? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. So Stefan comes to the doctor, right? Mm -hmm. And he's rude to her mom. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing. He wants a Nike symbol on the helmet. <laughs> of course. I, I mean, are you shocked? He wants the boy to wear a crop top. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. We have to we have to Photoshop that somehow. Uh -huh. Whose car is he driving? Hers. He's hers. He's driving I thought he wasn't car. allowed to drive a car anymore. I mean, do you think she listens to rules? Oh, God. It infuriated me to I see him drive her in the head. She is cash me outside. How about that? Yes, yeah, she is. She is that girl. Yes, she is. Oh, yeah. my God. She is. She is. She did you really see how? Is. Did you hear how she was talking on their right on their ride home? Yes. I I'm finally at least she says something, though. Like, yeah, yeah of course I changed. Yeah. You cheated on me while I was right. pregnant. And he says to her. Oh, he made me mad. The sight of you disgusts me. But he <laughs> screamed it. But he screamed it in her face. The fact that he he's screamed with the child. Listen, honestly, in the car. he's just a disgusting person. I don't like him. Oh, and the best is I'm more equipped to deal to like raise him than you oh, are. Oh, I know that was laughable. Are you? Are you? Can right. Show a judge these videos. Last time I checked, you didn't have any electric or heat or. Right. Uh, gas in your house all you know how you were keeping warm your four pairs of nike socks yeah. that you were wearing that's why you were wearing so many <laughs> socks because you don't uh -huh. pay your bills right well i have um i have tracy's big blanket wrapped around me right now in it's the freezing in the studio like how I'm are you not top. cold i'm and so I'm, cold it is so cold in here i'm hot <laughs> okay well whatever fuck you guys ashley <laughs> I'm okay. like, I'm thinking to myself who the hell is ashley okay so everything was fine when they were in vegas they made up with shen right Bar Ashley was so has happy. mental problems. And now she has a problem. Ashley keeps Ashley, making up problems Ashley with Shen. Ashley makes her own yeah. problems with Shen. Yeah. Shen is like, let's get Listen, over it. Is Shen Ashley, crazy? Yeah. Sure. Shen, but Shen isn't even acting But she's crazy. innocent, right. I feel like. I feel right. like Shen is innocent. Right. I mean, listen, you know how you know Shen's crazy? How? White eyeliner. Uh-huh. I mean, listen, have you met my mother? I don't think that's crazy. I mean, your mother is crazy. Yes, I've met your mother. White eyeliner. But, but that's what I'm saying. White eyeliner. But my mother is just like clueless. Crazy. 
No, crazy. I don't think that's Shen. You know, okay. I like Shen. I digress. Shen's white eyeliner is how you know she's crazy. I like uh, her. So Barr is ready to apologize to mm-hmm. Pastor T and Teddy. And he goes They were over very there. welcoming. Yeah, they Super were. Super welcoming. And I like something that Pastor T said. What? She said, Barr, we forgave you a long time ago. We were just waiting for you to write to until yeah. you were ready to come over. And yeah. I loved it. And I got to tell you, when she said that, Barr smiled ear to ear. Yeah, no, it was beautiful. I it loved was. the moment. I love their relationship. I'm like, not into Ashley. I'm telling you, she's a no. troublemaker. She, big she troublemaker. Is. So now she's going to throw Shen a surprise party. Throw Barr. Barr. Uh, sorry. She's going to throw Barr a surprise party and not invite Shen. Uh-huh. But like, she's, that's so like Why are petty. we not inviting Shen? Why are we not inviting that's Shen? that's Ashley. So now we're going to wonder why there's problems. Mm-hmm. But that's why, though. But she wanted, she's acting like a man. You push, you push, you push. The other person flips out and they're crazy. Right. So everybody has everything to say about Shen. Yeah. But she's pushed. Now, I'll tell you this. Mm-hmm. Some of the girls in the group are a little bit annoying. About what? Oh, they're about best Shen. friends with Shen. Now, Guys, Shen, come on. Shen answers all messages. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's super cool. So do yeah, I. No, I she chats great. with everyone. Right. Uh, people defend her in the group. Mm-hmm. Like, they are long lost family. Um, they're like by the way i just want to let you know them. right i just want to let you know that i've spoken to shen before this right. is what they say and she's an amazing woman right and it's like stop stop it here's the thing i really like we, shen. no listen i love shen yeah but guys this is not what this is all about right don't take it so personal but people do the same thing with chelsea i know they take it so personally it's very Come weird on. now i'll tell you this mm-hmm. you don't like ashley for your reasons mm-hmm. i'll tell you why i don't like ashley tell me ashley your outfits don't have to match. So now, clearly you don't like matching outfits, Tracy. It's not. <laughs> fuck you. I'm in the studio. Ashley has a dress, right? Mm-hmm. It's like a formal dress. Right. And then what the hell was Barr's outfit? Okay, I was it like know. an army t-shirt with like red accents? Right. Yeah. And I was like, but how does that, that doesn't match because it's not the same. Right. Also, you're going to this random house party with Barr in a. And you have a gown In on. a gown? Mm-hmm. And this is why it doesn't match. It doesn't match because you're not going to the same party. So that's what you don't like about her? Yeah. I do love her eyebrows, though. Love her oh, eyebrows. Love her Best eyebrows. eyebrows on the show, hands down. Yeah. Hands now, down. here's the thing. Ashley met Jade's mom when they were in New York filming. And she didn't teach her? Didn't teach her eyebrows. I mean, listen. And that's why I don't like for Ashley. Eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right, guys. Gabrielle, what do you got here for us? Let's okay, hear it. so let's hear some gossip. Okay, so apparently... Not apparently. This is what happens, Gabrielle. Okay, what? <laughs> okay, this so is all truth. This is all fact. Yeah. Ryan, according to the Ashley, <laughs> Ryan's dad, Larry Edwards, talked in about Ryan's current condition in a rare interview. Yes. But, I mean, really, what he basically said was he really missed He said family. nothing. I he read that interview, that, and he said nothing. Um, his current status, he has a temporary protective order for the, la- for, the pe- for the next two years. He's not allowed to be near Macy. Um, Taylor or their kids like they're not allowed yeah, to be near them. Yeah, this is old news. Yeah. yeah, this is like silly. It's just like him reiterating. And apparently Janelle is being like has in, has having major backlash because she skipped the reunion. Right. But really right. MTV just gave into her demands like into her ridiculous demands. They were like, "Listen, instead of you coming to New York and being ridiculous, we'll just come well, to Yeah, because look, she wasn't allowed to travel without David. That's what happened. That's what happened. Right. And also people tune in for Janelle, let's be yes. honest. Yeah, and I know uh the other team moms were like upset. Like they uh, did it for Amber, they Chelsea did it for Farrah. They did it right. listen, that's what yeah, happened. Yeah, they were all like annoyed. They were like, "I can't believe like I had to stop eh. my life to come and, you know, she didn't have to." You know nobody's going to the next reunion, right? Oh, no way. Yeah. There's going to be there's not going to be well, someone said you should put in the budget for Dr. Drew to just fly to everyone's house. You might house as well. You sh- probably should. Um, and Kale was tweeting again. And she said that Javi and I talked about getting back together at one point. Why? I don't know. Because we both knew we didn't want to and it would never work. She said, I regret even having those conversations. I regret filming about it and hooking up with him as I know people from the reunion leaked it. That being said, I am wishing him and his new family the best. I have no hard feelings about the baby whatsoever, despite what people are saying. I don't think she does either, because I think she had a problem with Brianna. I don't think she has a problem. I don't with think Javi she had a problem with Javi. No, she doesn't have, have a problem with him <laughs> being with. I bet else. you Javi has the baby, and it is so much better because Brianna is definitely out of the picture. Yeah, and then Javi brings the baby over and everyone's 1, friends. Thousand but guess what? Then he tries to have a baby with Kale again. Yep. Who knows? Yeah. Maybe um, Lauren will pop him out though. She she Maybe. also she also tweeted also don't lead people on I've been led on and I've led pe- people on nobody benefits from it so I'm thinking that is something to do with Dom 
because of the whole she said like i wasn't she also tweeted like i wasn't trying to hide my relationship dom and i dating i wasn't trying to deny her or relationship we had fun while it lasted but things didn't work out i've learned a lot over the years and wanted to keep things private and off the show but i don't think i really handled it properly okay i accept she's getting better um but as we were saying before dom said somebody tweeted at her saying they never had sex meaning dom and kale and she said, hold up. Let me go ask my doctor for a copy of my bill for when I went and got tested for every STD, STI possible the very next day because I knew I didn't trust her. I have nothing to hide. Stop talking when you know nothing. And then she posted her Quest Diagnostics. Shout out to Quest. I use them too. So do <laughs> I. So do I. I do not. <laughs> um, she posted her like collection was on the 1st of uh, January 12th, 2018. Her results, thank God she has no STDs. Is she pregnant? Um, she is uh-huh. pregnant. By Kale. <laughs> By Kale. Um, no, but she's not pregnant. But you know what I found interesting? She was born in 1985. Yeah. I didn't know That's that. That's a baby. How old are you, Gab? I'm 23, so she's only 21 or 22. Oh. Oh, wow. She's really Yeah, young. she's super young. And it says gender N. None. None. So is it, is I don't know. Non- now they're making gender X a neutral, thing. gender neutral. Yeah, she's gender neutral. Okay, I wasn't sure. I was yeah. just curious. But yeah, I mean, so me, most of the gossip these days is around uh, is around Kale. Oh, and uh, what's your, what's his face? Chelsea Adam Lind is losing his house to foreclosure. He's not. Oh we yeah, talked about that last week. We talked about that last week. They posted another article saying he is, but I don't think he's it's not. true. It's so silly. He's not. He owes seventeen hundred dollars in taxes. That's what happened. I think there's like uh, right now, as far as gossip is concerned, I think that there is a lack of gossip because they don't have anything, so they just like post these like. No, I think that they always just post like clickbait shit. Mm -hmm. But that's all I have. Do you guys have anything? No, no, just that thing I had heard about Don with the STDs. Really, it was a boring week for gossip. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for listening to Team Mom Trash Talk. I am Tracy Carnazzo. You can follow me at Trixie Tuzini, T R I X I E T U Z Z I N I on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, Noel Winters, talk to us. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Noe underscore Bear eight ten. Um, follow me on Twitter, Noe Girl, and follow. Oh well friend requests me on Facebook, Noelle Winters, because I'm not Tracy and I don't have 5,000 friends. Sorry about that. Noelle uh, (laughs) is also a CEO of a catering company. If you are in the New York City metro area and want catering done, you can follow her at Full Full Belly Caterers. And uh, that's it on Instagram. Yep. Gabrielle, talk to us. I am on Twitter, Gab Nicole X, Instagram, Gabrielle Nicole X, Snapchat, G Nicole 22, and Facebook, Gabrielle Nicole. What are you on uh, Snapchat, Noelle? I am Big Chops 810. Hopefully, Noel will have a phone next week. And I will. This will all. Noel's never going to have a phone. No. Uh, my phone's getting fixed by Sprint. They said five to seven business days. I just brought it on Friday. So that's why it's not here yet. I bought Jordans for myself. They're coming on Saturday. Um, oh, that's exciting. I'm yeah. buying a Pandora ring for myself that you and I saw. Which one? The crown or the enamel? No, the enamel. Okay. Ooh. Awesome. All right, guys. This has been amazing. Thank you so much for listening. Remember, one last time. Please go to iTunes. Give us a five-star rating and an amazing review because we'll love you forever. And we have a giveaway contest coming. I'm excited. Bye. Bye. Bye.